China's economy has entered a period of deflation, marked by a decline in consumer prices for the first time in over two years. The official consumer price index, a metric used to gauge inflation, experienced a 0.3% drop last month compared to the previous year. This situation is placing additional pressure on the government to stimulate demand in the world's second-largest economy. The deflationary trend accompanies lackluster import and export data, raising uncertainties about China's post-pandemic recovery pace. The nation is concurrently addressing mounting local government debt and navigating challenges within the housing market. Welcome to Slant News. If you want to support, you can subscribe to our channel. The situation is further complicated by elevated youth unemployment, which has reached record levels. This comes as an unprecedented 11. 58 million university graduates are poised to enter China's job market this year. The prevalence of falling prices complicates China's ability to alleviate its debt burden, along with the associated predicaments like reduced growth momentum, according to analysts. Daniel Murray from investment firm EFG Asset Management points out that there isn't a simple solution to elevate inflation, proposing a blend of increased government spending, reduced taxes, and more accommodative monetary policy. The origin of the price decline can be traced back to a different trajectory than that of most developed countries. Post-pandemic restrictions, many countries observed a surge in consumer spending as pent-up demand was unleashed. Conversely, China did not witness a comparable surge, possibly attributed to the country emerging from stringent coronavirus rules with a distinct economic response. Consumer prices last experienced a drop in February 2021, teetering on the edge of deflation due to subdued demand earlier this year. Factory gate prices, denoting prices charged by Chinese manufacturers, have also seen a decrease. Alicia Garcia Herrero, an adjunct professor at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, underscores concerns about China's weak demand contrasting with a global awakening. She notes that deflation exacerbates debt burdens, amplifying the challenges faced. The repercussions of deflation ripple beyond China's borders, given the country's significant contribution to global goods production. While it might potentially help moderate prices internationally, an influx of discounted Chinese products into the global market could negatively impact manufacturers elsewhere. This could lead to reduced business investment and employment, affecting company profits and consumer expenditure, possibly resulting in increased unemployment. Moreover, a decline in demand from China, a major global marketplace for energy, raw materials, and food would adversely affect global exports. China's economy already confronts multiple obstacles. Its recovery from the pandemic's impact has been slower than anticipated, as evidenced by a 14.5% drop in exports and a 12.4% decline in imports in July compared to the previous year. These trade figures compound concerns about a potential further deceleration of economic growth this year. China is also grappling with a persisting property market crisis following the near collapse of Evergrande, its largest real estate developer. Despite the Chinese government's efforts to project stability, it has refrained from significant measures to stimulate economic expansion. To facilitate China's recovery, fostering confidence among investors and consumers is pivotal. Ishwar Prasad, a trade policy and economics professor at Cornell University, emphasizes the need to restore trust within the private sector to encourage spending and investment. The prospect of implementing substantial stimulus measures, which could involve tax reductions, remains a crucial consideration. Here we wrap up the news on this topic. And be sure to subscribe to our channel.